Hi, this is Jay Pan, heyportdiffin.com, and today's show is all about Garage Band. So here we are, and we launch this tiny helper application. So basically, we will see what Garage Band can do on such hardware. Create a new music project. Create for the files here. My thumb. All right. So here we are, and we got virtual instrument here. Just get rid of that for the moment. So as you can see, garage band doesn't really fit in such a tiny resolution. And there's two tips to know. First, by clicking the green maximize button, you have the bottom here. Now, just imagine you want to, you know, work on the first track. So here we are, and you don't have the access to the bottom of the application window. So there's one tip, it's called Command Hell. And here we are, you see, it shows up. So here we are. Let's say I want a big electric lead guitar and to show you it works I'm typing on the keyboard and it just works fantastic I don't know if you saw that but the indicator uh, turned orange Apple loops first. So here we are, Apple L, and we got all those great loops. Let's say I want strings. And why not something exotic? So I like it, so I drag it. And that's okay, GarageBand, just create the new tracks for me. So basically I'm gonna do three or four more tracks on my own, all alone. Here we are, we got five tracks, and I play it to show that it works. Alright. And as you can see, the informer just turns orange sometimes. So I've got strings, I've got bass line, I've got piano, and I've got percussion. So we will now see if I can record a virtual instrument as the four other tracks are running. So don't focus on what I'm playing because I will play crap. But I just want you to focus on those five tracks and the little informer here, if you can see it. Alright, here we go. I don't know if you saw that, but the informer was kind of red and, you know, it slowed down, but it recorded quite well, so let's see how it goes.
play it. The indicator is quite loud, as you can see. Let's see if I can record another track. So here I created her bell track. Let's see if I can record it. Here we go. And it worked. And again, I think the indicator is plain red. It turns orange, it turns red. I think we're reaching the limitation of the order. But you know what? I think it's time to try another track. Let's say we want grand piano. And this time I will show you the indicator as I'm playing. All right, here we go. All right, so let's see if it recorded. So basically I heard nothing in such a cacophony, but we never know. As you can see... And it recorded. Well, as you can see there's a lot of slowdowns and the indicator is almost red all the time. You don't need seven tracks, especially if you're on the road, you know, it's definitely not what netbooks were made for. But that's kind of cool since we are pushing the limits and iMovie worked and now Garage Band works and I work works like a charm and that's really cool that shows that how effects on such hardware is really good if it were optimized no doubt it would be even better so thank you for watching don't forget www.abledifferent.com